Greetings all, Frog here. Let's play Europe Universalis 4 with our Lothian campaign, which has been Great Britain for hundreds of years. It's 1792, which means we have less than 30 years to accomplish all of our plans before I have to start figuring out how to port this into Victoria 2, which we will try to do. I don't know if we're going to go from Victoria 2 to, to Hoi 4, but uh, we'll at least get into Vicky 2 for sure. It'll be an interesting game, given how everything is is in uh, in the world right now. It's just the Cree. The Creek have disappeared. I think they're a holdout just in Florida. Yeah. Oh no no they've they've um they're over here somewhere. Do this is them, isn't it? Yeah, they've colonized out in the uh, the islands here. It's kind of crazy. Who has Hawaii? Leon, of course, has Hawaii because why wouldn't they? It's a little outside of our range. Okay. Um, are we still in the Regency Council? Yes. For another seven years. Okay, so we have 23 years to, <laughs> to accomplish our goals. I have too many military leaders. Do I care? No, I have six units, so I kind of I want a leader for each one. Well, actually, I only have five units. Oh, and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in the North Sea Squadron? Well, that doesn't make any sense. Why wouldn't you be down in the uh, Venetian Squadron? Wait, the North Sea Squadron is in Venice? Venetian Protectorate. Oh, I can't call it that. Venetian Protectors, we'll call it. Look, I have a custom name. Okay, how's our trade doing? 65%. We could do more. 72%. What? Alright, how many more boats can I buy? That's not what I want. That's not what I want. How many more boats can I buy? Two? I can't do two. So let's say I do 200. Apart from being dreadfully sick. It's a Willy Wonka thing. I need more ships. Give me shipyards. Well, we're building some. We're building one. It's not exactly the domestic force I'm after, is it? I can't really develop. Kind of out of grand shipyards. That's unfortunate. What about the United States? Well, you know, you know what I mean. Ooh. Got more room. And the Bahamas? Bahamas are tabs. The Turks have that. Why is it. Oh, the border's just green. It looks like it was green filled in. I thought, thought I could handle that for a second. I was like, oh, excited. Okay, um, what else do we build? I don't care about sailors. Any reason to do this up here? It would be if it was in the Baltic zone. Are you in the Baltic? Here you are. We'll just help our Baltic a little bit. Oh, you too? Nice. Alright. We'll do that for now. Uh, let's get let's get flowing. Okay. Byzantium should be uh, not able to do that anyway, so. I don't know what's going on. They're still in the PU with Poland, as far as I know. If they're not, that would be something to, to know. Claims, yeah, yeah. Buildings, yeah. Truces? Who do we care about? Trough. Doesn't matter, of course, because... Reasons. Um, We can bring them home. That's fine. Who is this? Oh, yeah, we're trying to claim Florida. Uh, Lotharingia and Ferrara. Yep, okay. William Pitt was the second son of William Pitt. First Earl of Chatham. Chatharn? No, it's definitely an M. Chatham. In December 1783, so a little late, King George III took the opportunity to dismiss the coalition. Uh, even though we've actually already gone through Victoria and we're now in Anne and then Anne's Regency Council, or the Regency Council for who? Oh, for Anne, yeah. This is Anne's Regency Council. Uh, right. When Parliament reassembled on January 1784, the government was at once defeated by 39 votes on a virtual motion of censure, but Pitt refused to resign, and gradually the coalition's majority in Parliament began to crumble. By March 8th, the majority against him was one vote, and on March 25th, Parliament was dissolved. 
1788, he signed the Triple Alliance between Britain, Prussia, and Holland, thereby ensuring that in a future war, his country would not be bereft of allies as it had been during the American Revolution. In 1790, he demonstrated Britain's renewed power and prestige by negotiating a peace between Austria and Turkey. In 1784, he passed his own India Act, creating a border control regulating Indian affairs in the East India Company. Finally, in 1791, the Canada Constitutional Act was passed. London became responsible for the government of both Lower and Upper Canada, but both provinces were given representative assemblies. An excellent minister. We get a statesman whom I don't care about, but 25 admin power. Should I build another? No. No. I was going to think about building another transport fleet. Bad idea. Royal marriage with Melgul is over. I'm not going to race to renew that, actually. Bohemia! We have a new elector, actually. Swabia is no longer the elector. Which is perfect, because now we'll go after... Wait a minute, that means Bohemia is uh, is separate again. Uh, Melgul, do I really care about you as an ally? Do I really care about anybody as an ally, honestly? Not really. And we'll accept this fight. Rivals. Poland, not going to happen. Seljuks? Look, we might as well. Poland is too. We'll make Poland love us more. Alright, so Bohemia, talk to me. I don't know how you got out of Savoyard rule, but congratulations to you. You're now a Catholic Emperor, so you must be dethroned. There are two Protestant members of the Empire and four Catholic members. I don't know how you're still members. Bohemia, would you let me join? I don't think you can actually ask. I think I'm far too big. I should send him a warning. Do I have claims on their land anymore? No, because Lotharingia took it. Well, we need to get some claims. So here we go! Build a spy network. You're outraged, huh? Well, deal with it. 29, is that, that's that got to be enough for the creek. What did I want to... Why am I, why am I doing this? Because you're not. All right. And now we can bring you home. Now we have a reason to go to war. So we'll definitely go to war with that. I can't imagine you have allies. No. You're being warned? I thought you were being protected. This should be warned. So I'm going to take out the creek, give them the 13 colonies. Um, I still, it feels so weird to have all my forts fully maintained and still be making 44 ducats a month. I'm pretty sure all of my advisors are level 3 as well. Oh, 223, but still, that's, that's nuts. That's nuts though. We're making almost 200 ducats from trade. Oh, we lost an advisor. Sacagawea! Oh! We had that level 3 statesman. I think Middleton. I thought he was supposed to be cheaper. 30 ducats is not significantly cheaper. Diplo rep is super more important. Sorry. Andrew and Anthony Middleton. Are you the statesman? Yeah. He's supposed to be cheaper, but obviously not. I don't care. We're still making money. 30 ducats a month is plenty of money. I had to pause because I was drinking. 50! Wow, we actually have a lot of their territory now. And 40 for Ferrara. That's good. Poland's just going to live there. We just need an excuse to go to war with Bohemia, basically. Or we'll force religious conversion. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that done by the end of the, the campaign. Who, is this? Who are the allies? Ferrara and Swabia. Okay, well that's good. Swabia, Swabia will come in. Swabia is allied with Toulouse, Bohemia, and Genoa. Well, we don't really need to fight Genoa or Toulouse. Lose 10 diplomatic power or absent merchant in Chesapeake Bay. Don't really care about Chesapeake Bay, to be honest with you. 
We don't make enough money for that to man. Well, I mean, it is 12 ducats. Okay, it went up. So, there you go. <clears throat> they do better when there's no merchant there anyway. It's obviously not mechanically true, but that's what it looks like. Excellent! I need another score of lights, please. I don't want to go five over. I kind of want to go five over. I don't have the money for it. Okay, never mind. I do kind of want to go five over. I am building, like, the right ships, right? Great frigates? Okay, good. Whew. Just making sure. I didn't think you were able to... Well, I mean, do templates hold over? I don't know. We lost a general. Alright, well, we'll get more military power now. Not that I needed it. We're 110% ahead of time in military technology, so it's not exactly a, a pressing concern. Liberty Desire on minus 10. That's good. We can have more tariffs that way. How is our Liberty Desire? 16. That's not bad, actually. What's our mission? Berlin. Berlin's in... Um, Lotharingia now, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. Oh, that's how we got a claim on it, right. I wonder if that counts against our total. What did it do? What do we want? Weapon? RTCN? RTCN might be more important. Oh, no, no, wait. Oh, let's say Friesland, Geldern, and Utrecht. Okay, we have all those. Um, then we need the coast. Stad? We have Ryu, Bremen. Okay, there you go. We just need the coast. Oh, but Oldenburg was the trade center. Oh, no, no, it was Bremen. Okay, good. And Austrinland. Do I have clams on that? Oh, so that's the next one. Ostfriesland. Um, Ferrara, we can claim. On the last one. Alright, so we don't care about this network now. Come home. Um, we'll build some uh, relations here. 21's not enough, right? Oh, it is! And I want this thing. Okay, Mark. Yeah, give me that. Make it easier to go to war over that than whatever is down here. Ooh, yeah, I want Verona. To, these, I want Mantua and Treviso for sure. I have Verona. When we get out of this, I'll tell you, these wars are going to be crazy. When does our, um, our thing end? This is the council. Age 10. 1799. Well, wow. I have four more years of this. Build nine more. I've got five units. So once we get up to ten, we'll go nuts. We'll go another infantry in, uh... Infantry and what, I wonder. Ooh, wow. Can't lower any of them, though. What's this? Disputed succession among who? Genoa. Hmm, interesting. They would take a royal marriage. It's, a, it's an OPM. Do I own... Do I claim this yet? Okay, good. Oh, yeah, I have to. I, I, I claimed out of Ferrara. I'm out of Ferrara and claims. I start claiming Corinthia. They like me. Did you become a vassal? They would offer they'd take an alliance right now. Nope, because they're too big. They're threatened. I could probably threaten war against these people and get their stuff. I don't know how that happened. Jeez, God, my hand must have slipped. 55 for Lotharingia, by the way, which is not going to be easy, but we'll try it. Is this Lotharingia too? Man. Lotharingia is sticking their nose everywhere. 67% is not strong. I don't like that 72% either. Oh, I have my score of lights. Um, you need to go protect trade in Venice because that's way more important than anything else. What I could do is peel back some of these ships. Let's peel back 16 of these ships. All right, where, where are you going next? Can you just stay where you are? Okay, cool. Let's peel off 16 of these ships. Oops. Now we're going to peel off 16 ships. 
you're going to go to um, the Baltic. And then you're just going to keep doing what you're doing in the English Channel, even though you really don't need to be here at all. I'm just really greedy. I'm only at 87%, now I'm at 85%. So yeah, that's not awful. Because of Holland. I need to get rid of the rest of Holland. And then, won't I have 100%? Oh no, because Leon has one. I gave one a little bit to Leon. I should have kept that one for myself and given them parts of Champagne. That's alright. I am I'm hunting, right? Oh, I'm hunting down in Venice. What do you desire in subjects? Fabrication claim costs. Yeah, I don't care about dip. I mean, I do... I care about dip, right? What's next? Infiltrate, don't care. Trade range, whatever. Trade efficiency would be nice. You know what? No, we're gonna we're doing the idea group. We're doing the idea group. Three years to go, and a month. At that two-year point, I need to say, "Hey, Poland, we're going to war. Could you could you hold off for just a little bit, please?" Ah, boo! Lotharingia was caught. Alright, that's fine. Uh, I cannot claim parts of Pisa. I cannot claim parts of Leon. Um, the Teutons? I could claim parts of the Teutonic Order. Poland hasn't. Would you take vassalization? British economic base compared to Teutonic. Are you kidding me? Because let's be honest here. My economic position is significantly stronger than the Teutonic order. They must be somewhere else. What's your total war score? 45. So there's 8.85. Uh, 17.1, so that's 25, 31.96, 32.87, 36.37.43, 44.45.17. Come on, Teutons. You're all right there. Fine. We're going to take all your stuff. We might give it to Poland. It's my only regret is that Poland got into Finland so fast I couldn't take it. Trade efficiency plus five. There you go. We're going to need that upgrade anyway. Look at Egypt. Sneaking along the Caspian. Or the Black, excuse me. Caspian's over here. Um, little sneak. Aha. Uh -huh. Goes two ways, I see, Lothian. Corinthia. I want stuff. I want... Gortz first. Thanks. Now we can threaten war. That will not be good for them if they give it to me. Because then I'll strain their army over there. Who is this? Bohemia. Oh, Bohemia's got to get to 25. I was excited. I thought there was another claim coming. <clears throat> How's that our force limit? Auto saved. That's how it's doing. Nine more. Still not to ten. We'll only be four over if I get another score of lights. How's trade? It's only four. It's only four. I don't know why it's red. Oh, because of the force limit. Yeah, I don't care. It's worth it to control that much of Venice. Why are you not doing anything? Oh, it's because this is a transport fleet. We're fine. Stay cool. My legitimacy is only 35, but it's a regency council. We've lost our admiral. Oh, that is actually sad. 
I don't want to use the admin uh, the, the dip points for it though. Hello. Which means the trade efficiency is going down. Yep, we lost 4%. Damn it, look at that. Only 2.8 stays behind. I'm transferring 57%, and that's all, be or 57 ducats downstream. Wow. You get to split the rest of the 2.9, of which I get a cut as well. Such a shame for you guys. There's the first 18 or 16 ships or whatever it is. Rally points made this game so much easier to handle. 18, there's two more to build. 19? One more to build somewhere in there. Gotta add another shipyard in there. We'll get to that. Uh, but that'll have to be another time, as we are out of it. As they say. We gotta get back in time. So it's progressing along quite nicely. We're down to 24 years left. I don't know when in 1821. I don't know if it's like January 1st, 1821, you're over. Or if it's some arbitrary point in there, but that's, that's, that'll be it. And then we'll, uh, we'll transfer it, like I said, over to Victoria 2. Uh, we'll play for a hundred and some odd years, because that game ends in 1936, I believe. And then whether we go to Hoi 4 or not remains to be seen. For now, though, we are out of time. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, click the like button, subscribe to the channel to stay updated to everything that happens. And until next time, cheers.